So first thing you're gonna to do is make sure your laser is off. And unplugged for at least 30 minutes to an hour before you start trying the rest of the process to make sure that any electricity buildup has dissipated from the tube. Okay, so the first order of business is to drain the water line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the water inlet line and follow it over to my chiller and I'm gonna take it out of here and just let that drain into uh, the water bottle that it originally came in because I still have that. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I'm going to pinch here. I'm gonna lose a little water, but I'm gonna try to not lose too much. Let's see if I can get this off a little bit. And it's gonna lead. And next, for good measure, I'm going to do the same thing for the outlet tube to make sure everything is just drained out from the lines attached and start to do the rest of the process. Same thing, I'm going to pinch the hose, I'm going to try to get that off, and I got it on there really snug. Oh. And then I have this cap here um, going on, and you can hear the water draining out. So when it's all done, you should have a decent amount of water aside from you know what spills out of there but a decent amount of water uh, drained from the laser so anything less than what that kind of looks like uh, it's probably not drained and you should be able to actually see it in the laser as well to see the tube actually dra uh, draining so you're going to do the inlet uh, which gives you a little bit but mainly the outlet is where all the water flows through so next up, we're going to remove the inlet and the outlet hoses from the laser itself. Um, as you can see here, I've already removed the extension wing from because I have the 80 watt red and black version. Um, and as I mentioned in a previous video, um, instead of using zip ties, I use these locks because this particular purpose is that I would have to change out the lines and it's a lot easier to take this off than it is to cut a zip tie and then reapply. So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I have my bucket over here just so I can catch any water. Yep, pinch the tube. Okay, so not much water in there, which is good. So now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Next up, we're going to disconnect the black cables and the red cables. So, just do that. The laser's been powered off for a day, so I don't have to worry. Label, there, everything's disconnected. And so as for the red wire, uh, they kinda, in a lot of the instructions, they kinda had to silicone it to the laser. So I'm gonna see 
I can scrape any of that silicone off just enough to get to the laser so I'm just running it along the edge of the tube I'm gonna do the same thing on the underside just running it right along the edge where all the silicone is The, yeah, and then it comes off and then now we're going to go ahead and use our wire cutters to cut these so that we can run a new connection into the next tube so now that our wires are clipped and separated we are going to now loosen up and take out the brackets so we can remove the tube I'm not going to show you all that because it's easy enough to use your allen wrench and to remove the tube so uh, we're going to get on to the next part so now that the tube brackets are out it's time to actually remove the tube itself so start by Gently lifting. Sometimes the rubber pads stick, so just be careful, don't get too forceful with it. But kind of lift that out. Tilt upwards. And you can see there's still a little bit of water in the tube. Ugh. So you can see still a little bit of water in the tube. So I'm going to drain that out before I pack it away in my bucket. And now I'm going to put this away. Hmm. So now that we have our old tube in the old box, now we're going to open up our new tube. Which apparently looks nothing like the old tube. 